Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 42 of Book 1, which gives us the methods to draw a parallelogram with the following constraints. We start with a triangle and any angle. I'm just going to call it delta. And what we need to do is to construct a parallelogram such that it is equal in area to our triangle and contains the angle delta. So we need to construct a parallelogram that's equal in area to our triangle. So let's begin. First, we start with our triangle ABC and our angle delta. The first thing we're going to do is to bisect the line BC. What we're going to do next is copy the angle delta to the point E. And this takes a bit of time. My computer's running a bit slow, sorry. Oh, we're getting there. Almost there, and there we go. So now we have copied the angle delta to the line EC. What we're going to do next is to draw a line parallel to BC through the point A. We're using the methods described in Proposition 31. And again, we're going a little bit slowly, but we will get there. Imagine if you had to do this by hand. That would be a lot of work. And there we go. And we label the intersection as point F. Finally, we're going to draw a line parallel to EF from the point C. Again, using the methods described in Proposition 31. Okay, we're going and we're going. And we keep on going. A little inch in the good. And there we go. And now we construct our parallelogram from F, E, C, G. And our parallelogram F, E, C, G contains the angle delta and is equal in area to the original triangle A, B, C. So how do we go about demonstrating that this is in fact true? First, let's look at our triangles ABE and AEC. Because E is the midpoint of BC, BE, EC are equal in length. So we have two triangles with the base equal to the base and sharing the same parallels, which means these two triangles are equal in area, which gives us that AEC is equal to half of ABC. Now if we look at our triangle AEC again, comparing it to our parallelogram, according to Proposition 41, since they share a common base and the same parallel line, the parallelogram is equal to half the area of the triangle AEC. So we have AEC is equal to half ABC is also equal to a half the area of our parallelogram. Which gives us that these two equalities are equal, or in other words, that the parallelogram is equal in area to our original triangle ABC. And thus we have shown how to draw, given a particular triangle and an angle, a parallelogram containing that angle and equal in area to the original triangle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.